Hey, so what is up? Today I'm bringing you another LEGO mock tutorial. This week I am showing you how to build this my version of a LEGO camera jib. The parts you'll need for this mock are two 1x2 two bricks with a Technic pin and a hole on the side, a 4x4 four four, a round brick, total of four two by two, regular two by twos. I just so happen to have two other two by twos with the, the irregular wheel connectors on it. Two two by sixes, a two by eight, two different types of one by twos with this little connector piece on the side. Yeah, a regular one by two. A chair, two one by eight tile pieces, a little two by two round piece, two of these little lever pieces that also could be go as antennas, a one by one tile, little, oh, technically two, a one by two grill piece, two of these smaller length chains, a back crest piece. Yes, there's a little, little monitor with a clip on it, a 2x2 two two brick, a 2x2 two two turn table, two 1x1s one ones with the vertical clip on it, 1x4 one play, 1x2 one jumper play, 2x2 two, 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 two two fender piece, 1x8. Uh, you played one by six play. Yeah, two of these larger antenna pieces. There's a little little T connector piece. Who's who's a four by four? Excuse me, round play. A black pen. And uh, a. A droid arm, one by two, with, with a connector piece that, that as part of the droid arm can go into. A one by three, a two by three, yeah, another two one by one tiles, and a two by four. To start off, oh, oh, for the base of the camera gel, take your two by a play and place it. So that it's centered over the, the 4x4 round plate. Now take your two of your 2x2s and place it uh, um, on the bottom of the 2x8 so that they're flush with the, by, flush with the 4x4 round piece. Next take your two two by sixes and place them you know, on the is two sections of t one by two studs that are still available on the four by four round plate. Next take your your other two two by two plates and place them at either end of the two the two two by uh, six pieces. Next take your four by four round brick and place it on top of the uh, two two by sixes and the excuse me, a two by eight piece. Next, take your your two by two brick and place it in the center of the two by two on top of the in the center on top of the four by four round piece. Now take your 2x2 two two turntable piece and place it right on top of the 2x4. Now take one of your 1x2 pieces and place it on one of the sides that are going out over the 2x8 piece. Now take one of your 2 one by 2 new connector pieces and place it on top of that 1x2 piece.
To get started on the place where the camera operator is, take your regular 2x4 piece and place it in the lower section of the 2x4 fender piece. Now take the chair and place it centered on the 2x4 piece so that the back is facing one of the ends of the 2x4 fender piece. Now take your 2x4 your 2 by 3 piece and place it in front of the chair. Now take your steering wheel piece and place it on the 2 by 3 so that closest to the chair. Now take your backrest piece and place it at the opposite end of the 2 by 3 so it in toward the chair. Now take this little square piece with a clip on the back and put it onto the backrest piece. Now take your 1x2 jumper plate and place it on one of the two sides of the chair on the 2x4. Now take your lever piece and place it in the, on the jumper piece. Now take this other type of oh, 1x2 connector piece and place it right underneath the 2x4 on the same side as the jumper plate. Now take your one of your 1x2 bricks with the pin connector in it and set, place it on the opposite side of the two regular 2x4 two from the jumper plate. Now take your black pin and place it into the pin connector so that it is going away from the chair. Now take your one, your two 1x1 one one pieces decorative Technically, these could be a 1x2 tile piece and place it on top of the 1x2 brick. Now take this little assembly and place it on top of the turntable so that the these two connector pieces line up. To get started with the boom arm, take this 1x2 connector piece and place it at one end of one of your one by eight tiles. Now take one, this one by two connector piece and place it right behind the one, the other type of one by two connector you have. Now take your one by eight plate and place it in the four, so that half of the studs are on the remaining four studs of the one by eight tile. Now take your other one by eight tile and place it. So the half of it's on the oh, one by eight plate. Now take your two one by one connector pieces and place them on two steps away from the end of the one by eight tile, so that they're facing these out the same way from as the one by two connector piece at the other end of the boom. Now take your remaining 1x2 brick with the, at, the pin connector in it and place it at the end of the 1x8 tile. Now take your 1x3 plate and place it so that on underneath this whole assembly here right by the 1x2 brick. Now take the 1x4 plate and place it uh, on right in front of the 1x3 uh, connect plate. Now take your 1x6 plate and place it right up toward the front of the boom arm. Now take your droid arm and connect it right up here at the to this 1x2 connector piece. Now take your two antennas and put place them into these two to two connectors you have placed that go out to the side of the boom arm. Now take your little T piece and side it so that one ends are pair go who are straight from one another or into this part of the droid arm. Now take your camera looking piece and side it up into the camera. Take your one by two plate and place it on the bottom of the camera. Now take your printed one by 
your one tile and paste it on top of the camera located piece. Now take your one by two grill piece and paste it on the camera on the opposite side from where the the antennas are. Now take the your other one by one tile and place it on the opposite side from the one by two grill piece. Take the antenna piece and place it at the back of the camera on the same side as this one by two piece. Now take your round disc and place it at the front of the camera. Now take one of your short shades and attach it to the bottom of the, the antenna up here at the front of the gel arm and to the back of the camera. Now take this whole jib arm assembly and connect it onto the black pin. Now take your last short chain and connect one end of it to the bottom of the this antenna piece at the back of the boom arm and the other to one or two studs at right behind the chair. You have it. My version of a camera jib. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.